Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a DKIM record on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to add a DKIM record on GoDaddy. So if you want to do that, the first thing is we would like to go to our uh, products page by clicking at your name at the top right corner and then click at my products, which will take you, of course, to the products page. Of course, once you're here, make sure to expand this domain section. If it's not expanded and just look for the domain name that you would like to add the DKIM record on. Once you found this, click on this DNS, which will take you to the DNS manager, of course, or management. Of course, uh, make sure you are at this DNS SEC. And once you go to this DNS records, make sure to click at this add button, which will give you the option to add a new record on your domain name. Once you do that, of course, just go to type in choose, C, sorry, not MX, choose C name. And here, of course, you'll have to, to fill the name and value and even the TLL. Of course, if you list it as default, it will be one hour just so you know. Once you finish, click at add record and you'll be good to go. So that's actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.